what I can advise you is to make copies of those documents just in case you lose them somewhere. Hey, it's me again and in this video I would like to give you a few tips in regards to packing because I know how overwhelming that can be. But before we get into the video, I would like to let you know that there is a list on Au Pair World that shows you the most important items that you should take with you. And I will put a link to that website into the video description. All right, let's start with the actual tips. Before you start packing, make sure that you label all of your suitcases and bags, because if they get lost, for example, at the airport, the chances will be way higher that you will get them back if you label them because the people who will find them will be able to trace them back to you. It is also very helpful to just lay your things onto a table before you put them into a suitcase because that will give you a great overview of which things you already remember to pack and which things might still be missing. Then I would also advise you to bring a backpack for trips for example because it is way more comfortable to travel with a backpack than carrying around a suitcase all the time, especially if you're only going on a trip for a day or two. I personally also always brought an empty tote bag because that doesn't really take up much space in your backpack and if you decide to go grocery shopping spontaneously or shopping in general, then an empty tote bag comes in really handy and uh, that way you can save some money and also do something good for the environment. Obviously, it is really important that you take with you all your important documents, for example, your passport, ID, driver's license and tickets, of course. But what I can advise you is to make copies of those documents, just in case you lose them somewhere or lose them also during your stay in your host country because that way you have a bit more security. Then it is also important to take a little bit of cash with you and with that I mean both your host country's currency and also your home country's currency because you might need a little bit of money on your way to the host country but you will also need a little bit of money maybe in the first week because in my case, I got paid one week after my arrival, so the first week I had to rely on my own money and I was really glad that I already took a little bit of my host country's currency with me, so I was able to actually buy something. The next tip is bring a passport photo. Now it is possible that you won't need it, but I can only speak from my experience and I needed one when I wanted to get my rail card and I luckily took one from home and that way I didn't have to get any new ones and pay extra money so yeah just to be sure you can take one and if you don't need it you don't need it but yeah you will have one just in case. I got gifted a notebook as a goodbye present and I took that with me because I wanted to write diary which I can only recommend everyone to do because in the end you will have a book full of memories that you can always read through and yeah, that will always remind you of the great time you had as an au pair. It is also very important to take some disinfection with you because you are going to do a lot of traveling and you will be at a lot of public places so it is very important, especially in times like these with COVID-19. Which is also why it is very important that you take medical face masks with you because you are required to wear them in a lot of public places as well as a lot of means of transportation. So just put a few of those into your suitcase and you will be safe. What also always comes in handy is a little first aid kit. I took one with me as well and I put some plasters as well as hand cream and like a little bit of medication in there just in case I needed some of it and I actually did need some of it during my first week of working because I didn't know where the plasters are in my host family's house 
and I needed one so I was really lucky that I took my first aid kit with me because I knew that I had plasters in there so yeah that was really handy. If you require some specific products or a special medication I would advise you to take enough of that with you from your home country because it is possible that you won't have access to those kinds of products or medication in your host country and just to be safe it is the best way to just take enough of that with you already. Of course you will also need toiletries at least for the first couple of days but I can only advise you to take travel sizes because that will also save you some space in your suitcase and I'm pretty sure that you will be able to go to a drugstore or a supermarket during your first week in your host country to buy a full-size shampoo for example or a conditioner. I'm pretty sure that you're going to take your smartphone as well as a laptop or tablet or a camera with you and for that it is really important that you also take an adapter for the plugs because I'm pretty sure that the plugs in your host country will be different from those in your home country. And a little tip is, if you bring an extension lead or a power strip, then you will have loads of your home country's plugs with just one adapter. Because you can put the adapter into a plug and then just plug in the extension lead. A few other things that I found really important were comfortable shoes because you're going to walk a lot and it is just um, a pain if you are wearing shoes that are really not comfortable. And depending on the area you're going to move to, it might also be smart to take some hiking boots and some slippers maybe because most host families do not like it if you wear shoes inside the house and I always prefer to have warm feet, so I took my slippers with me. As well as a reusable water bottle, because that way you can save a bit of plastic and you also can take a reusable water bottle with you everywhere and you can always fill it up if you need to. Obviously, also very important are the presents for your host family, as well as maybe a few memories from home or pictures because with those memories and pictures you can personalize your room and that will probably make it way easier for you to feel at home. Then I can recommend you to ask your host family if there are any items that they can provide you with, for example towels or hair dryer or stuff like that, because if they have that at their home already you can leave those things at home and save some space in your suitcase. Also, you can research on the internet what kinds of products are very expensive in your host country and if they are cheaper in your home country then you can take them with you already. Lastly, you can always ask the current au pair whether he or she is going to leave a few items behind that you will be able to use. And also you can ask them for a few tips regarding packing or also regarding products that might be expensive in your host country because they have been in your position once and they might have a few helpful tips. Those were all my tips and I hope they were helpful for you. I wish you the best of luck with packing and of course I hope that you will have an unforgettable au pair stay. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye!